Hi guys, 14th Prime here, back with another video review. And today we're looking at the Transformers Titans Return, Voyager Class, Doomshot, and Megatron. Now before I continue, this is kind of allergy season for me, so if I sound a bit stuffy or if I cough, I apologize. But, I want to get this video out there, so, here he is. And in the box, he looks good. You Doomshot and Megatron, you see Megatron's head. You see it there too. You see person, car, jet, and then flaming Decepticon symbol. I don't understand why Hasbro doesn't just have Decepticons with Decepticons and Autobots with Autobots. Just saying. Let me see that on the side. This side, you just get that. On the back here, you have some product shots and I already got Prime. And, uh, look nice. I really wish it came with an optional Autobot symbol because honestly, this is going on my Lost Light shelf until I get the Mastermind Creations one. Which I'm definitely getting whenever it comes out. And then, a little bio up here, it says, Using the power of Titan Masters, the Decepticons rise up to destroy the Autobots. Doomshot ignites a super fusion reaction in the fire blast of other bots. He turns the cannon of Megatron into a weapon of immeasurable destructive force. Seriously, I just... Uh, any, anyone that's read more than me the eye, come on. You, you, know, you, know what the, you know what this is. I'm not going to spoil it for anyone, but you, you, you know what this probably reminds some people of. But yeah, Fuji Cannon's always been powerful, so... Yeah, good to do me. Anyway, here he is all in the box, so... Without further ado, let's open him up and see how cool this guy is. And here we are with Megatron, open up and out of his packaging. And before we look at the figure... Card. See, so you got a picture of Megatron with his really weird cannon barely in the shot, because they realize it looks bad. We see Megatron and all that stuff, and on the back we get Megatron and then Doomsday. So we get... I have a band-aid. So, yeah, you're gonna be seeing that this review. Anyway, here's Megatron. And it's a cool tank. I like it. <laughs> this actually does rotate a full 360. That's nice. It's a it's a one up from Brawl from Combiner Wars. The, like the last tank I think we got. Oh wait, no, we also got hard head. But it wasn't a traditional tank like this. But that's all. Like the thing should. Let's compare them. Here's Prime. In between these two, I honestly can't decide who wins vehicle mode. Because this is a functioning tank and it looks cool. This is a nice tanker truck and it also looks cool. They both have their flaws, but I, I really can't pick one or the other. And here's little Doomsday right here. His little Doomsday device, if you will. I know I'm horrible, but so, uh, <laughs> here's, he is, here's a little close-up in the face. A little focus. Mm, kinda. Articulation, the arms can go out that far. They can, oh, well, I thought they could go all the way up. Can they? He just, mm, sorta. Just, just bring up that much. Legs are connected. And then fold up because it's a head. Well, then you can take him and put him right there. And now he's like piloting it or something. Then you can also take his other gun and you can plug it in there and then have little doomsday just sitting there. But that looks weird, so we don't do that. Anyway, transformation. Remove both of these, and let me do a close-up on this gun. I wish I could peg into the arm like that. It doesn't. You literally need this. And how that works is you just insert this into there, and then you got fusion cannon. In other words, half fusion cannon, half what is this? Transformation. You want to extend the wings out. Untab, there we go. Untab the arms from the sides. That up. Um, take these, untab them. Rotate them. But you want to move these down first, and then tab those in. Then take the arm, and on that joint, rotate it 
back and then tab it in. Second verse, same as the first. Rotate it, eh, rotate it around. Before you get it there, straighten that up. And then you can tab it in. Take the arm, tab it into the side, rotate it around, peg it in there. Then you can come around here and put these little back wings down. You want to come around here, flip up his nose cone, open said nose cone, get out the rest of said nose cone, and just take that and plug it in there or do whatever you want. I think it's supposed to be like that, actually. So here's Megatron in his jet mode. And this is a really nice looking jet mode to me, compared to some other ones we've gotten for Voyager figures, and especially the Gold Blitzwing. So, a little 360 of this. It isn't that bad. I mean, it's not perfect, but it's better than, like, previous ones. Well, let me rephrase that. It's better than the previous Blitzwing. Some Voyager jet modes, I don't know. Silverbolt wasn't that bad. Speaking of jets, just because he's here, Unite Warriors Air Raid. Just so you can see the scale. And technically, he's. I think he's supposed to be this type of jet, too. I don't remember for sure though. I know it's like supposed to be Starscream's jet. I don't remember how different Blitzwing's jet is or if it's like the same jet. Speaking of jets, let's get a jumbo jet in here, shall we? Megatron wins. It's all in turn. How Doomsday integrates with this one is you take mainly the smaller gun, but you can't have the whole thing. You take these two tabs and this bigger tab, two little tabs go there, a big one goes there. You tab it in like so, and then you got a cannon on a jet. And you take Doomsday, put him in said cannon on a jet, and there you go. I kind of like how this turns, it's not really wheels, it's just kind of like a little base. Or like if you had to like fasten down, you can kind of like turn the jet with it. If someone like just want a jet mode, and they like fasten this down to the table or something. That'd be kind of neat. Anyways, on the road mode. So first, put these. Oop. Wait, one thing I want to mention. I almost forgot. You can tab that in right there. And also here, and on the other side too, if you really wanna. But I don't really wanna. So there you go. <laughs> flip these up. Um. Open up the nose cone. Flip that in. Flip that down. Then. Kind of open up the arms, it kind of gets them out of the way-ish. Flip these. Wait, don't do that yet. What am I doing? <laughs> you want to take this piece, flip it in, and flip that up, rotate it around. I'm going to rotate up this camera because I know I'm going to need to. Oop. Oop. There we go. So it's like that. Flip that up. Rotate this around. But anyway, keep that flip down. And tab it in. Same over here. Rotate around, tab it in, then push that up. And you want to take these wings, flip them back on that joint. Oop, flip that in. So over here, flip it back there, in there. And then you want to flip these up. Come around here, split the legs, open up that, flip it out. And then flip out the foot, close that, and you got one leg, second very same as first, flip that open, put that down, flip out the foot, close that panel, get yourself a pair of legs, you want to take the arms, rotate these around, rotate these up, rotate those around, and you got Megatron without a head, and you take Doomsday here, and uh, Supposedly tab him in. <laughs> Headmasters refuse me when I refer. Oh, there you go. And then, I don't really know if this is supposed to open whenever you tab it or not, but basically just do that. And bam. And here's Megatron in his robot mode. And it looks nice. I like it. Not bad. Even though for me, right now, this is my Mortar BCI Megatron until Mastering Creations gets theirs out. Then that's going to be my Mortar BCI Megatron. Because it's 
the greatest thing ever. Anyway, for comparison, here he is with Optimus Prime. And as you can see, they don't look too shabby together. I love them both in robot mode, to be honest. I used to actually, whenever they first released photos of Megatron, I hated the arms for some reason. And now, I don't. I don't know why I hated the arms in the first place. To be totally honest, I don't even know my reasoning. But, there's that. And then, just for the heck of it, here's Galvatron. With, uh, like, two paint apps for me and then the Shapeways piece. So, yeah. I don't get the uh, Toy Hacks head upgrade for it though, which I might get. If I do, I will review it for sure. But here he is looking all Megatron y. He looks good. Be close by that head. Bend his knees over. It's a nice head sculpt. Personally, I don't really like these up. I don't remember Blitzwing having those, but you probably did, and I just don't remember them. Like Astro Train. I didn't remember him having those until I, I looked up a character model. I'm like, oh, yeah, he did have them. <laughs> Articulation on them. If you have these up, the head can barely move. If you have them down, the head can do a full 360, and you can't really nod or anything, so just full 360. Arms can rotate here, that far up, or that far back. Rotate there, really far. <laughs> Elbow bend, bicep swivel. He does not have anything at the wrist, nothing at the waist, legs move forward, that far, back, bend at knee, have a uh, thigh swivel, move in and out. He could do the splits if he really wanted to, and that's it. Well, technically he can do that. He can break his leg. Can't give him his fusion cannon. If my hands weren't full, I would do quotation marks. I mean, it isn't bad, but it isn't great. <laughs> Definitely won't be displayed with this for me. But uh, overall, if you like Megatron, get it. Or if you just want to see a taste of the Blitzwing mold, get it. Because honestly, to me, it really isn't that bad. Like, could it be better? Always. But it isn't really a horrible figure at, by any means. Anyways, if you'd like one of your own, you can check out primetoys.net. I think they've been getting these in. Link in the description below. Because they've been getting a bunch of times return stuff in. Usually it's sold out, which kind of sucks. But, hey. <laughs> it is what it is. So, uh, that's pretty much all I have to say. So, please be sure to check out my channel for video reviews. And please don't forget to subscribe. Mr. 14th Prime, signing out.